Today we're actually going to show you how to replace a screen on an ASUS 1025C. So the first thing you want to do is take out the battery. So pop those two tabs forward. The battery will pop up. Flip it out. It looks like a rubber piece fell out here. Put that back. There we go. So once you got the battery out, flip it over. And uh, on some of the ASUS netbook models that you'll see round rubber um, pads that actually go all the way around and underneath those pads there's screws. But on the 1025C there are no screws whatsoever. So what you want to do is take, take any uh, credit card or anything like that and actually go between the screen and the housing itself. And what you want to do is just put it under and then pop it towards the outside and it starts to come off. So from there, you just wanna, this is very flexible plastic by the way, um, so I don't think you'll have any trouble I'm trying not to break it or anything. So just run your thumb along the inside, and then if you need to, just kinda flip this. There we go. And then just keep running your finger along the inside, like that. And then when you get to the bottom, just keep Running all the way along, and then once it disconnects, you just pull it up, and that's how that comes off. Right, once you remove the uh, screen bezel, set that aside, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws. So the first set of screws that you want to take out is the top ones, one here, and the next one you want to take out is this bottom one here, before we continue, the reason I'm uh, leaving these two is uh, this actually is mounted to here, so um, this is actually mounted to the screen and these are screwed to the metal frame so I have to leave these two here for now so we'll continue down here remove this one and then remove the bottom one and then you remove this top one and then you remove this other top one Get the screw down there. Right. So now that you got the six screws out, you can actually pull this whole piece towards you. And this is the screen itself. As you can see, the cable wraps around and attaches to the bottom. So from here, what you can do is peel up this tape. And then pull the cable back. And then pull it out towards the screen. Sometimes it's a little tricky. Oh, there's a piece of tape on here, I'm sorry. Pull this piece of tape up. And then there is another piece of tape. <laughs> Two layers of tape. So you gotta peel this up. Oh, there we go. Come on. Wow. All right, so as you can see, I peeled up both layers of tape. There's a little piece of film here, and now you can actually pull this out. So there is the cable. So now that we have the uh, screen um, unplugged, or the cable unplugged, we're going to take off the support brackets on each side. So when you flip it over, as I mentioned earlier, I kept the two screws on this side, and there's two screws on this side. So take out these two screws. Move this a minute. And take this screw off, and this screw, so that removes the bracket. Now keep in mind when you replace the bracket, it goes underneath the tabs, not over top, underneath. So we'll lay that off to the right, and we will do the same to the left side.
and then the bracket just comes off. So now you have your old screen. Now that we got our new screen, uh, we will just reverse the steps. Put your screen like that. Make sure the screen is face up. And you want to slide it, remember, slide this bracket underneath these two tabs. So this down and this over top, just like that. And make sure this L bracket piece comes to the inside. So you can take uh, these screws, which pretty much, um, different screwdriver, which pretty much are all the same length, so you don't have to worry about them getting um, screwed up or anything. So you want to attach the first one there. second one right here. And just flip to this side. Remember the uh, screen goes over top of the tab, or the bracket, I'm sorry. And then you want to put one screw in right here. And then put that. Back on there. So now that your bracket is back in place, you can flip this around upside down. And you want to make sure you plug the cable in correctly, so what you want to do is get in here like this and hold the screen firmly and press this towards you so it snaps in. And then take your tape that you peeled up. This probably is not going to stick very well, but you can tape this back down and fold this back. And then put this other piece of tape back down. Make sure you don't get a like that, like that. Now you're ready to assemble back in place. Now that you have the cable in place and it's all taped down, um, what I like to do is actually um, pop the battery back in and test the screen before I assemble the whole thing. So I just shut the lid, flip this over, pop the battery back in, flip it back over, and then I just hold the screen up in the air and press the power button. And it works, which is a good sign. So go ahead and just shut that back off. Carefully pull the battery back out, and we will continue with the screen. Okay, from here, um, the next step is make sure this cable here goes behind this aluminum foil. So what you want to do is actually peel this back and then when you flip this up um, you will see the cable right here and it actually goes in the left groove. There's two grooves here. This one here is for the wireless card and the one on the left is for the screen. So just kind of make sure it pops in between these two little tabs here. So when you want to line the screen up come up to the top and you'll see a screw hole and a plastic um, pin. So the top one lines up with the screw hole and the bottom one lines up with the plastic pin. So same thing on this side too. See the screw hole and the plastic pin, just make sure it's lined up. Now from here, you want to take your tape on the left hand side here and put it back over the wire so it stays in place. And now from here we will put these six screws back in. So you can start pretty much on any side. This will start on the left side. So now that you have the screen in and this taped down, we can put the plastic bezel back on. All right, now, uh, now that we have our screen in place, we got the screws in, we are going to put the uh, bezel back on. 
So what you want to do is actually, you see these two, I don't know what they're called, hooks, if you will. Um, you're just going to put them down in the base of the, base of the screen. And starting at the top, you want to kind of pinch pinch this together. Now it's, it's kind of tricky, but uh, you just go along and you can hear the clips snapping back together. And then what I what I like to do is actually flip it up like this and put my fingers right at the base of this and actually just push along the bottom and you'll hear a clip. Just like that. Um, I guess if you want to check the back side, as you can see right here, there's a little bit of spacing. So you can take a screwdriver and just kind of use your finger and the screwdriver and pinch that together. And pinch that together. Let's see if I can get there we go. And then flip it over. And the same thing. See a little gap here and here. Kind of pinch that together. And pinch this together. And then as you can see there's a little space on the clip. Open this up a little bit and you can actually pinch that together. You can hear it snap. And then same thing, pinch, pinch these two together. And now, yep, that is all sealed together. So as you can see, you got the bezel back on. And now it's time to test. And there you go. The screen works just fine. That is how you replace a 1025C screen.